Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I think my voice <coughs> is almost recovered. Almost, almost, almost. Not quite, but almost. Do you like? Do you like my necktie? It's from a secondhand store, of course. Um, I think it cost me about eleven dollars. Okay, yeah, some nice rich people, probably old people. Um, they donated this to secondhand store so that poor guys like me can purchase. Okay, so yeah, I'm a huge fan of secondhand stores. Uh, yeah. So yeah, some rich people are very nice. Okay. Yeah, very charitable. <clears throat> yeah. So. Don't hate people just because they are wealthy, okay? That's jealousy, covetousness, okay? That's a sin in biblical sense. Moses see on, you know, is that, isn't that pretty? Okay, so then I'll have to move this whiteboard over so that you can see it. Huh? Okay, we are in the uh, fantastic world of uh, what the, the uh, permutation linguistics, mathematical linguistics. Okay, so by permutation, where well, it's kind of catchy phrase, but there's insertion, deletion, substitution. <coughs> we will just include those. <coughs> And uh, we we went over this, okay? So um, we can erase all these things. My favorite whiteboard was brand new, okay? So it's kind of hard, okay? So uh, I'm gonna take this off. So like uh, the what's that? The uh, uh, linguistics, okay? So. Yeah, I made one error, okay? It's not pharyngeal. Pharyngeal is like, yeah, way back, way, way back, way down there, okay? That's pharyngeal. Uh, what is this? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> way far. And then you have what? Uvula? Something like that. I don't know all the words. And then you have bellum, bella, bella sound. That's like, gook. Okay, and uh, we're gonna group them all together and group them as so number three. Consonant, third consonant group, or third set. It's not group theoretical group, it's just a set, but group is more common word for grouping. So we can call it set three consonant or group three is consonant. Group two? Yeah, alveola. Or, or some u, u, y. We just group, group them all together at number two, in the middle of mouth. Number one, yeah, lips, like labial, dental, labial, bilabial, blah, 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 okay. Okay. So, group one, okay, group two, group three. That's the power of mathematics, we simplify, okay, so. Mathematical modeling, okay? You have a, okay, zero. Zero group. Vowel, all the vowels. A, A, well, let's do A, B, C, C, K. K. The back of mouth, okay? K. C or C, D, D. Alveola, right? E, E, F. It's interchangeable with like brief, they kind of like frontal, okay? So F, G, 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 <coughs> H, I, E, I, A, E, J, 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 K, L, 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 M, 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 N, 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 O I A E O O O P P P P P Q K K K K K 
R R R R R R S S T T T T T U U V V W W W X K S H like you know log X Y Y Y Y Z Z okay so yeah now uh the second generation mathematical linguists like some of you okay you want to continue this okay and forget about zeros vowels okay um think about three consonant words like meter meter m t r meter meteor mother even murder okay or mort the like mortician yeah death okay <clears throat> so there are uh, in this three consonant words like Middle Eastern based Arabic based okay or Hebrew doesn't matter Arab probably say Arab something Arab or Hebrew you have a b b b b r Arabic or b r yeah they both have same word origin Hebrew Hebrew Arabic Arab Arab Hebrew Arab they have the exact same three one two uh, family it's a subset okay so how many this three consonant sets are there 27 three times three times three equals 27 okay so yeah your assignment is this okay um your research assignment would be uh yeah just enumerate all the 27 uh three consonant groups and make examples and uh see what three consonant family is the most common across all languages it's a comparative languages cultural linguist co comparative linguistics cultural linguistics cross-cultural linguistics whatever okay so it helps that you know many languages if you're a linguist okay yeah there should be a trend okay yeah what family three consonant family there are 27 of them okay what what uh Out of 27, which one is the most common? You know, given language or across other languages. Okay? So that's your assignment. Okay? So I'm not going to do it because I'm, I'm too old for that shit. Okay? It's, it's more for young, younger people like many of you. Okay? It's like I'm kind of old professor and you're kind of like young research assistant, like graduate students. Huh? But I'm not gonna pay you though. Okay. Hopefully somebody else you else will pay you, or maybe you pay, fund yourself. But I'm not doing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So mother, mitar, murder, like mortician. They are one to two. Okay. So are they related? Yeah. It, possibly. Possibly. Mitar. Measure, yeah, this is a one to two. Measure, mort, you know, death, mortician, or mort main, like dead hand. Uh, you know, mortician, like uh, <clears throat> yeah, they, they want to do. mother, murder. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's horrible, right? Uh, how how can you possibly connect mother? and death because mrt mort 
okay, mortician. Well, we don't care about vowels, so mort or mor, murder. The ending er, well, okay, murder. These two, they are both three, right? If so, they can be merged. I mean, there are two. So you have m one two two, okay? Because murder, murder. You can merge those two things, okay? Yeah, it's the tailing stuff because we are interested in three consonants this time, okay? So because it, it's the most common. Yeah, there are two consonant words or four consonant words, of course, even in Arabic, okay? But we are interested in three three consonants then because they are mo the most common of all, okay? Yeah, meteor, meter, measure, like measurement, you're measuring something. Yeah. <clears throat> and mother, because mud, uh, they are both two and two, D and R, aviola, right? So yeah, they're interchangeable. So in uh, what, Spanish, mother is something like madre or something. I don't know. Madre is 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 it what language is that? I don't know. Okay, madre, padre, okay, probably Spanish. I don't know. Yeah, padre, father. Yeah, again, one to two. Father, mother, parent. Okay, how about parent? Okay. Two trailing two t trailing two two yeah they are they are merged merged okay so one two two okay parent or father f the r okay so we have th here yeah before I forget I I, I think I forgot to take a picture of this uh, and um myself we are not going to erase this please remind me okay. My phone is charging. Next break, I'll grab the phone and grab it, bring it here and take a picture before I erase. Because last time I think I, I forgot to take a picture before I erase. So, mother, father, murder, death, like mort, mortician. How, how can you possibly relate that, connect that? One theory is this, if they are connected, yeah, mother, self, self, self sacrifice. Okay, father, yeah, self sacrifice for their children. Okay, that's how Jesus was. So, yeah, parenting is very much like Jesus' yeah, thing. Yeah, self sacrifice. Jesus killing himself, murdering himself, death, Jesus' death in order to save other people. Parents, yeah, they sacrifice their own life for their children okay okay well, it's true isn't it murder is just about death okay so yeah but mort mort man i think it's french word dead hand dead hand doctrine what is dead hand doctrine I forgot, okay, but I learned it in law school, okay. Some common law doctrine, I guess. I, I don't remember, okay. But it's there, I didn't make this up, okay, so. Okay. Um, yeah, media, okay, media or measure. Measurement, measure. Okay. Can we connect mother and measure and meteor? Can we connect that? Perhaps it's too far. It's getting too far fetched. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we can connect anything pretty much, right? By the way, what 
the, in physics, we have elementary particles, right? Yeah, proton, neutron, electron. It's like plus, zero, minus, right? And in color, world of color, you have RGB or RYB. Okay, red, white, I mean, red, yellow, blue, or red, green, blue, okay? Optical coloring or physical coloring, okay? Yeah, how about metaphysical universe? Are there some basic elements? Yeah, pro probably, probably plus and zero and minus. Okay, probably. Yeah, and also extension. And... Okay? Any concept can be explained with those three things plus minus or zero okay any concept any metaphysical concept can be analyzed as a, some kind of combination of those three things zero plus minus okay just like dna world yeah they have only four bases agtc A, G, T, C, right and in a well, protein world they have only, only 20 amino acids right all kinds of protein can be broken down into 20 amino acids, more or less, right? And uh, all the atoms can be broken down into three things, protons, electrons, and neutrons, combination of them, okay? And all the molecules in the world can be broken down into, what, 103 atoms or more or less, right? Yeah. So how about concepts? How about any metaphysical universe? Can we find identify some these fundamental basic elements? Yeah. Okay. We talked about that before. <clears throat> if you remember, I mean, if you have seen my past, I mean, our past episodes. Yeah, elemental analysis, metaphysical elemental analysis. You define word like love, and you look up the dictionary. It's a recursive process. What is love? Yeah, positive feeling about someone else. Affection. We are defining in a very loose term. Okay, so yeah, positive emotion about someone else. Love. Okay? Yes, positive emotion about someone else. Okay? Emotion? Let's look up the dictionary about emotion. Positive, yeah, it's just positive. That's like lift node in this recursive tree analysis, recursive analysis, <sighs> here, I'm waving my hands too much, love, right, you have positive emotion about someone, about other people, okay, what is positive, yeah, there's nothing below there, it's positive, it's just positive, it's a leaf node, Emotion. What is emotion? Yeah, the metaphysical concept. So, is equal to something that is not physical. So, it's a metaphysical thing. Okay? What is other people? Somebody who is not me. Okay? So, it's like, okay, so we break it down. So, then break it down. Okay. We have minus physical universe. We have, we have minus and... um. I. Okay. Yeah. Then th that's the end of it. Okay. You just look up dictionary again, again, again until you come into, until you become kind of circular or until you become very basic, elemental. You know. Okay. I will leave that to you, okay? Yeah, identify metaphysical elements, metaphysical, finite set of metaphysical conceptual elements where any concept in the universe, metaphysical universe, can be uh, analyzed into to some combination of those finite set of metaphysical elements. It could be two, three, probably at least three. Oh, it could be 103, it could be 20, who knows? Yeah, go ahead and do it, okay? And publish, be famous, make money, okay? All right. So measurement, meter, 
meteor. How can we connect to model or model? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so horrible, right? Uh, but, but don't you remember we found connection, undeniable connection between those words yesterday? NGR, like Negro, Nigger, or uh, no, Nacht, Night, Nacht, Nicht, Not. Okay, because the H is kind of like traitorous. Sometimes it just becomes a vowel or just disappears. Like, it's kind of quasi vowel, quasi consonant, okay? Yeah, so it's something Nicht. So it's Not, N O T. Okay, or not, N A U G H T. Okay, yeah, there's definitely connection there. Night, uh, Negro, or Nigeria. Okay, it's a what? Ne Negro. Two three two parent. Two two three two. Okay, so Angela. Okay, so that's uh, one of the two. N yeah, it belongs to that 232 family, three consonant family, okay? So. Okay. Yeah. Measurement. I mean, your mommy, my mom, your mom, our mothers, yeah, they measure things when they cook. Your father, our fathers, yeah, they measure things with rulers and with whatever they, they do. They count the money. It's measuring, okay? Media, I have no idea where, how, they, how they named it this. Thing that come from the sky. Why do they call it meteor? I don't know. Okay. So measure. How about labor? Labor. L, two, b, one, r, two and two. Yeah. Negro, okay, so like negative, not, okay, it's a n, two, g, r, two, three, two, okay, so it's, this one's different, okay, labor, and it's, this guy's different from this guy too. Um, so measure, obviously measure has nothing to do with this word labor. In terms of world origin, so um, what what was this three one two? Hebrew, right? Arabic, Arabic, okay. Hebrew, Hebrew or Arabic. Hebrew, no, B R, yeah. Uh, Arab. Wait, wait a minute. Arab. He Hebrew. Arab. Uh, uh, Arabic. It's. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, they, they actually. But. They have to be related because in in the evolution of language, this uh, swapping of two adjacent consonant groups, it happens all the time. Okay, they, they have to they have to have common origin, Arabic and Hebrew. Okay, okay, yeah, that happens all the time. Like tesoro versus tesoro treasure. Yeah, they are both two. Okay, let's treasure, treasure. 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 I'm sorry. 
Oh, so carry the web. Two, two, two. Okay. Treasure. That's a rope in Spanish. Okay. <clears throat> so measure. How about standard? Yeah, the again it's uh, not trailing but head head two consonants can be merged together, right? St. So you have stan next stan dar standard okay so two n two du du dard two it's, yeah it's again two 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 Okay, so you can find some connection between um, different words that shares the same pattern. Treasure, standard. <laughs> Maybe standard is something very precious. Prize, how about that? Prize. Prize. Precious. Prize. Price. Price. How much is it? Price. One, two, two. Okay. Precious, prize, pleasure, price. How much is it? Money. Prize. Yeah, door prize. Whatever prize. It's grand prize. Precious, my precious. Pleasure. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, there's something very positive. Maybe positive. P, pa, z, z, positive. One to two, okay? Positive, okay? As opposed to, as opposed to, uh, you know, <sighs> okay, black people are not negative people, okay? Black is not negative number, okay? Uh, negative, so we don't want to be racist, we don't want to give the impression of being a racist, so I will just do negative, okay? And you're positive, okay? And then you, you also have what? Blank. Bronco. Ca yeah, Casa Blanca or Casa Bianca, whatever. But Bianca, yeah, l sometimes omission or deletion happens. Okay, so. But yeah, we have bl black or blank. Blank. Okay. Mm, k -k -k. That's three. L, d, b. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. Black or blank. Blank. Yeah, because N is three, K is three, you can merge it together, okay? This is like, a, a, I'm not sure it's, it's brand new or what, okay? But uh, it's like tripartite analysis, I'm trying to name it. This dualistic dualism, how about What's three? There's unism, that's one. Uno, then you have duo, then you will try what? I don't know how to say it. This dualism, so you know, it's a good time to take a break. I'm gonna look it up, okay? What is the ism of three? Triistic, triism, or what, what is it? Tripleism, what is it? Triple consonant analysis, how about that, okay? Whatever word there may be, you're making, you're breaking down into three groups of consonants, ignoring all the vowels. Okay, so, and then you make it belong to one of those 27 um, three consonant families. Okay, so 
Is this something new? I don't know. Because I didn't study too much in linguistics. I just took one introductory class in linguistics. So, Sometimes ignorance is a bliss, okay? Because you are on your own and you may discover something new. Because you are not following the, the set path. So, little education may be a good thing sometimes. Because you may create something new. Okay? It's balance. I did study linguistics somewhat. On my own, too. Okay? Is this something new? I don't know. We'll take a break, okay? Let me grab my phone and find out, okay, this unism, dualism, and then what? What's the three-ism? <laughs> I'm so ignorant. I'm sorry. Uneducated. <laughs> I just spilled my, my vodka to my brand new favorite tie, necktie. <laughs> what an idiot. Well, it's not going to stain because this vodka is very clear. But I still feel bad though. <clears throat> yeah, I'm uneducated. I'm illiterate. I'm stupid, idiot, idiotic, imbecile. Okay, so we'll take a break. Okay, so. Alright. Take five. <clears throat>
Okay, we're back. Um, I guess we, we have to just name it ourselves. Because, come on, hey, we are linguists. Okay, I'm not your linguist, so why not do some neologism, okay? We call it triism, okay? Mono, <coughs> monism, mono, duo, tri, quad, penta, that's what I found in the internet. I don't know, is it Greek or Latin? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm ignorant, okay? I'm very uneducated kind of guy, so. My knowledge is very shallow and short. <sighs> okay. I took a picture of that, so. Quite a workout, so I have to like lean back with my one hand on the wall. Uh, oh, quite a workout just to take a picture of this. Okay. How about I'm gonna erase this, okay? Because I took, took a picture of that, so I like this board. I don't want to switch out with this those older, dirtier boards. Non magnetic. Oh. Okay, now we have some room and um, a lot of fun, right? Fun stuff. We are in the land of promise, land of milk and honey. After doing all that dry numbers, this mathematics, oh, so dry desert land. Now we are in land of milk and honey, linguistics. La 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 la. Linguistic La La Land. Yeah, how about this land? Land. Yeah, it's a L, N, D. Tu, tu, tu. Okay, we have seen this before, right? So yeah, major and mother, if we want to, yeah, do far-fetched it may be. We can still make some, try to make some connection. Mother, measure. Father, measure. Yeah, sure. They measure things. And they could be seen as some kind of standard for their children. Kind of somebody to look up to, like role model. Okay, so. Or oh, how about model? Model. M, D, L. One to two. Yeah, we've seen this before. Okay. How about milk? Land of milk and honey. Yeah, okay, honey. Honey. Ye. Ye. Three. N. Two. Ye. Two. Okay. Milk. M. One. L. Two. K. Three. One, two, three. We've seen this before. Okay. And um, how about man? Okay, I mean in German, you have man, which is man, I think, like Schumann, whatever man. Okay, so yeah, m. Well, we don't care about vowel. M one, n two, two. So now when we have only two consonants, we are breaking down. We are dividing it into two things to make it three. When we have four consonants, we merge the last two or first two and make it and turn it into three consonants to fit into our three consonant system. Okay, that's what we do. Okay. How about the, the, the? Like Theo, Theo, God, okay? Yeah, theology, theology, Zeus, yeah, the, or just the, the, the God, the article, definite article. The, 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 yeah, it's like, we can say two to two. 
they only want two, right? We, we are dividing, multiplicating, dividing into three to fit into our uh, three consonant schema, schema, three consonant system structure, okay? Only one, the, or the, dio, or, because dios, yeah, in Spanish, dios, or zeus, zeus, in, um, Portuguese, like, si Jesus quiser, quiser, wish, you can't look what, quiser, right? You know, maybe I misspelled it, okay, quiser, is it S or Z? I don't know, I'm not sure, okay? If I misspell, you have to forgive me, because I don't know that many languages, okay? Yeah, quiser, question, quest. Three. Quest. Okay. Ask. Uh, uh, that's different, isn't it? Because it's K is three. A quest. Question. You know. Uh, question. Okay. New two. Yeah, there were two, so they get more used. Okay. Yeah. Question. Kizer. If God wishes. Want. Okay. Desire. Okay, yeah. It's kind of related, I guess. So, quiser mean um, what in Portuguese was what was that? Wish, want, desire. But it has same word origin as ask, you know, quest, question. Okay. Because if you want something, you're asking for it. Okay, so that's conceptual link, connection. To want something, you want something, you want money, then what do you do? You look for money or ask for money because you want it, right? You want to find a treasure, then you look for it. So asking for it and wanting it, desiring it, they are very, very like, cognate to each other, like relatives, cousins, okay? All right. So yeah, Zeus. You have, you have Zeus or Dios in Spanish or Zeus in um, Portuguese, okay? Yeah. Two, two, two. How about 666? Huh? How about Jesus? Yeah. God, like, <laughs> Jesus, 6666. They're all in two, two, two group. Okay, so. I know, yeah, it, it sounds very blasphemous. We, we connected these two words like Mador and Mordor. Come on, my goodness. And 666 and Jesus and God? My goodness. And we also connected like Negro with negative. Or, and also not or not. Or null. Null. Yeah, they're all the same thing, okay? Yeah. Negative or null. N, l, l. It's two, 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 okay? N, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, eh. N is a N, two, three, two. N, G, T, negative. Nacht, Nacht, Nicht, Nat. Okay, Null. I guess there's some omission of G, okay? Because you have Nicht, Nicht in German, right? That's two to two. And then nicht. G. H. Yeah, it's kind of like. It's like 0 0.5, okay? So, because it's kind of like vowel, like it's like zero. Okay? So, yeah, so it becomes evolved into 0 0.20, which is not or null. 
n l null or not nicht okay you got it okay so this fricative sound like <sighs> that's the transition from the bridge between a consonant solid consonant and a vowel fricative okay we can find find some other example like r okay you have solid l or d or t explosive uh, d or stop i don't know l kind of i don't know all those terminology in linguistics i used to but i forgot okay so those are solid consonants in the number two position alveolar and then this it's like kind of halfway between like the fricative or whatever they call it okay and later on it will become a vowel like zero like or something okay okay so that's how omission deletion of a consonant happens okay yeah there's this middle bridge is like fricative sound like <sighs> okay air kind of makes friction but it still comes out of there okay so okay oh v. so r is that intermediary consonant the halfway between vowel and full consonant solid consonant Okay, so that's number two. Number one, v, 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 okay, or v. And number two, you have R and also you have Y. Yeah, yeah, okay. And in number three position, you have or okay. In English, we don't have that, this, but in German, yeah, they have this, or Irish, I don't know. Or Arabic, yeah, they, they have something like that. Muhammad, or, okay, Ahmed, or something like that. Yeah, they, they have something like this, okay? In English, we only have, okay? Intermediary consonants, okay? in all three positions because some you have solid consonant like k or g right solid consonant like m or uh, b or p solid consonant and then you have intermediary consonant like quasi consonant quasi vowel fricatives right and then eventually they disappear sometimes they become Ah, W, v, 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 okay. This is just u, okay. Okay. Yeah, linguistics. Wow, we just discovered a tesoro. I don't know how to say discover in Spanish. So. If I read Spanish, yeah, the Spanish word for discover, I probably would, ne would recognize that word. How about we? How do you say we in Spanish? I know how to say it in French, like nous, like nous sommes, nous sommes. Spanish, how do you say we? If I read it, I probably recognize it. I know what it means, but. To say it, I don't remember, okay? Uh, told you, beside English and Korean, my foreign language sucks, okay? My foreign language skill really sucks. <laughs> but I, I know bits and pieces, okay? Okay, we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a picture and then we'll get back to whatever, okay? We're having a lot of fun here, so. We're discovering a lot too. Okay?
<sighs> We're discovering a lot. Making contribution to linguistics, whether they are the professional linguists, they appreciate our work here or not, whether they appreciate or not, we don't care, okay? We hope they do, but that's irrelevant because, hey, it's Friday, okay? We are having fun, okay? That's all that matters. So, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. Very short break. Did I take a picture of this? I don't think I did. Okay. So much easier to take a picture when I'm standing rather than sitting and leaning back. Okay. What if I take a picture of you? Well, it, I guess it's myself, but... <laughs> sure, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna erase all this, okay? And we're gonna have some more fun with this mathematical linguistics, tristic analysis. How about that? 
tryism. We, we just make a brand new word. There's monism, unism, okay, and dualism. We call three ism, tryism, okay. Tryism, okay. What? Trism? It kind of sounds like trism. <gasps> we'll call it, we'll put I there, extra I there, okay? Trism. Here is fun. It's something different. We want to be different. Okay? Okay. I looked up during the break. It's Rida Lee's um, Brazilian singer, Caucasian Brazilian female singer. Rida Lee, I'm a huge fan of that lady. Okay, baila conmigo. Yeah, dance with me. Okay, baila conmigo. <laughs> I don't know how Portuguese Portugal people pronounce conmigo, but Brazilian Portuguese. That's what I'm studying because I wanna understand her lyrics. Okay, that was the motivation for studying Brazilian Portuguese. Okay. Yeah, in Spanish, conmigo with me okay but in uh, at least in brazilian portuguese yeah they pronounce it as uh comigo okay so bala comigo yeah dance with me so the very first sentence in that lyrics is uh si ju si Da -da 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 -da. I, I don't remember the lyrics, okay? I mean, even English songs or Korean songs, I don't remember any lyrics, okay? Maybe Happy Birthday too, maybe I can remember that. I don't think there is a single song that I remember the whole lyrics. Unless I make my own music, own song, whatever. So, C G O S K I Z E. Okay, yeah, it's S. It's not Z. Okay, C G O S K I Z E. If God wants, God willing. If God wants, if God wills. So will is same as want. If God wills in old, old English, will can could be could ha used to be used as a verb. If God wills, okay, want, what is it? what uh, tries to what what this three consonant family does this belong to? I give you like five seconds. It's so easy. Woo, 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 woo. One, n, two, two, l, l, two, two. Okay? It's getting chilly, okay? So I'm gonna uh, put some coat on and turn on, grab my blanket, turn on the heaters, and it's getting chilly. Tristic analysis, three consonant analysis, okay? Has this ever done before? I'm not sure, okay? I doubt it. <laughs> Although I don't know much about linguistics, but I don't, I think it's, I'm so strongly suspecting this is a brand new theory in linguistics, okay? Okay. Yeah, I did do a fantastic job in linguistics. Linguists, yeah, they, they're doing a terrific job, okay? But I think this is brand new, okay? We just connected these two guys. Will. Want. Well, first of all, they belong to the same, this uh, three consonant system family, okay? One, two, two family, okay? And many times, they overlap the meaning of them. I want this. It's a future. 
I want something. I'm like lacking something. I desire something. Okay? Why? Because I don't have it yet as of now or in the past. I don't have it. So I want it in the future. Real. Future uh, helping verb, I guess, was like will, can, or oh, this grammatical term I used to know, okay, but I, I forgot. All this grammatical term, you have will, can, should, would, could, shall, helping verbs. Like, I, I forgot how to say that in grammatical term, okay, but auxiliary verb, I guess, auxiliary verb. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Okay. But it used to be actually a, a verb. Wills. If God wills. Yeah, in, in God willing in the, in the, in the uh, Islam, Quran. Yeah, they say it all the time, right? If God wills. God willing. Okay. Will, I-N-G. So will is very, used to be used very much as a verb. God willing, if God wills, okay? And guess what? They, are, they belong to the same group. So they look similar, pronounce similar, so they must have same word origin. Probably, probably. It's because it's too much co coincidence. Very small probability that it's a coincidence. Okay. What else? How about work? We keep on moving, okay? We just keep keep on exploring this, uh, applying this uh, three consonant doctrine or oh, three consonant system, three consonant analysis to all the words, as many words as we can. I mean, until we get bored. If we get bored and fed up and jaded, then we'll move on to something else. But until then, we'll keep doing this, okay? So. Work. B -r -k. Work. How about doctrine? Dark. T -rin. T -r -n. Yeah, they're all two. Duck. K. K. Three. D. Two. Two, three, two. Okay. Doctrine. Okay. Work. We said labor. L. B. R. Okay. How about work and bark? We can make a joke about this, like bark of a tree. Yeah, what if you are what mountain man? Yeah, you have to chop down this tree. So yeah, this bark of the tree is a work. It's a piece of work, right? <laughs> a dog barking. Yeah, he's working to fend off all the strangers out of the premises, huh? So work and labor, they pretty much mean the same thing. They are kind of close relatives, like cousins, cognates, semantically, it means the same thing. But in terms of their syntax, syntactically, uh, the, the form, sem semantics is more like content, you know, the, the uh, substance, the semantics, the meaning, okay? Syntax is syntactic. It's more like form, outer peel, outer surf, superficial surface that constantly changes. That's very changeable. But inner core, it doesn't change. The semantics does not change. Syntactic, syntactics, it changes. Form, grammar. Okay? Because, look, 
I love Apple. There's only one semantics. Okay? But when it comes to syntactics, grammar, it, it changes drastically from languages to languages. Like, I love Apple. How do you say in Korean? 나는 사과를 okay. I love apples. Okay. In Korean, we say this. 난, 나는, 난 사과, 사과를, 사과를 사과가 좋다. Okay. So, this is apple. 사과. 사과 is apple. And 좋다. 좋아한다. It means love or like. Okay. Well. In Korean, they're very, very strict and very conservative. And they don't say, I love apples. Okay, because apple is not a human being. It's a chattel. It's, it's a plant. Not object or animal, but plant, fruit. We say, I like apples. We never say we love apples. Because if you say, we love apples in Korean, 나는 사과를, 사, 난, yeah, there are two different ways of saying it. Okay, 난 사과를, 사과를, 사랑한다. 사랑 means love, okay? 사랑한다. If you say this, 난 사과를, 사과 사랑한다, they will see you as a very strange man. <laughs> what, what are you? What, are you so, some kind of like this? Sexual, are you feeling sexual with this apple, this chattel, this object, this plant? Just some kind of sexual perverse. That's what Korean will see you if you say, 난 사과를 사랑한다. Oh, oh, that's weird. That's just what are you? You're some kind of pervert. We Koreans they never say this, but in English, in America or Australia or England, yeah, I I love apples. That means I I like apples very much. Okay, but in if you go to South Korea or even North Korea, it, it, it's even stricter. If you say I love apples, 나는 사과를 사랑한다, then then people will say, you're strange, you're weird, pervert, perverse. Okay, because Koreans, Japanese, Chinese, we don't we are not very expressive like that. Okay, so. Okay. Love is a very common word in the Western Hemisphere, in Europe, Australia, Canada, America, or Latin America, South America. Okay? But if you go to Asia, and possibly Middle East, I'm not too sure. Just Middle East, what they have to... Habab, Habibi, Habab. I think that's, that's what love is in Arabic. Let me look it up, okay? Google Translator app. Love. Hubun. I thought it was just habab. Habib. Yeah, there we go. Lover. Habib. Habibi. My love, whatever. Okay. So what is it? 
B. Three one one. Okay, this is something new. We haven't seen three one one before. Okay. Oh, uh, how about love, love, love? Oh, love, 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 love. L, v, b. Okay. Two one. It's like maybe two on one or something. I'm guessing they are related, okay, because uh, 1, 2, 3, okay, is physical location, front of your mouse, middle of your mouse, and back of your mouse, okay. Probably 2 and 3, yeah, in evolution of language, probably it's easier to transit from 2, to change from 2 to 3, rather than from 3 to 1, because it's kind of farther away. Okay. So yeah, all these consonants, you can make transition between consonants. It's like horizontal kind of uh, transition. Transition between consonants. It's kind of like a little bit, yes, yeah, discrete, but it's a little bit continuous too. Kind of quasi-continuous transition of these consonants because Linguists, I looked up some phonetics. Yeah, they have all these different numbering. Okay, depending on the location, they number this the location in your mouse. Okay, so yeah, it's more or less continuous consonants. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it means the same thing. What? I love apples. Jam, pom, pom, jam, pom, in French, and what? Yokiro, manzana, manzanas, in Spanish. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know too much foreign, too many foreign languages. Okay, so. Yeah, so grammar changes. English has its own grammar. Korean has its own grammar. Is the ordering changes. So grammar is the syntax. That's like form, sup surface, superficial appearance on the outer peel, this surface that changes this very variable. But inner core, the substance, form versus substance, the syntax versus semantics. Semantics, meaning, does not change. It's a constant. It's not a variable. Form, syntax, that's variable. But semantics, substance, is constant. Is this eternal truth, you know, universal truth. Truth, okay. Sub sub that substance, okay. Yeah, it means the same thing. I love apples. No matter what language you are speaking in, okay. But uh, the internal core it does not change. It's eternal, internal, eternal. Okay. Okay. Maybe then in eternal e tar null okay and you have in tar in tar null okay so tu ru nu ru nu tu ru nu ru l they are all two 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 okay so Maybe they are related. Because how about external? Okay. Okay. You have external. I of course null like L is kind of like this what suffix for adjective. Okay. 
yeah, there's some suffix, common adjective suffix. But just for the sake of fun, a k, three, s, two, the rest of it is just two, okay? Okay, maybe adjective suff suffix is always two. Of course, you have a chewy, e, oh, that's two, two, two as well. I think um, number two is uh, you know the second group in this consonant consonant family three consonant family. I think well then you have v like adjective okay or quantitative. Yeah, that v, that v is like what. V. That's one. Okay. Yeah, there's some adjective suffix. That's number one. Yeah, you can do a lot of linguistical theories with all this this uh, three consonant system. Okay. Yeah, all this adjective suffix, maybe most of them are number two, rather than maybe a handful of number one, but not very mo many number three. Oh, the, the, yeah, yeah, there are some number three, okay. Ik, like mosaic, or what are some adjectives that end in AC? Static, dynamic, okay. So yeah, there's there's all adjective suffix at the end, the tail end. Um, okay, so there are number one, two, three. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Yeah, you, you can try to find some patterns there, just like that, okay. So. We are grouping similar things together, okay. So number one, number two, number three, okay. So. Okay, let me take a picture of this and we're gonna take a break. Okay, I, I'm kind of getting sleepy. Nowadays, what, what I do when I come home from work, I eat, okay. Because I realized too much drinking is bad for my health. Because I'm putting too much pressure on my liver. Okay. Yeah, I, I shouldn't do that. Okay, so. I shouldn't drink too much, you know. So, because it's bad for, it's too, I'm being too harsh on my liver. I only have one liver. So, let's give my liver a break. Okay, so, okay, if I eat first and drink second, yeah, I don't get to drink very much because my stomach is already full with food, okay, so. We'll take a break, okay, when then after that we'll do food, food, and full, okay. All right. Such a workout. <sighs> Take a break and we will we'll get to food and full. Okay. Food, full, fill. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. <sighs> it's getting hot.
Okay, we're back. Ooh. <laughs> Something random. Let's try to entertain you, okay? Because I mean, come on, it can be boring here. So. Crazy Asian Alaskan ass. Oh boy. Class clown. Okay, that's all I. That's all I am. Okay, so class clown. But what if he's a teacher? Well, I'm not a teacher. I'm a student. Just like you are. We are all students. Just like Jesus said. Okay, so I'm, I am a class clown. Okay. I'm not a class clown teacher. I'm just class clown student. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, come on, full. Full. Food. Full. Yeah, you're full of shit. You're full of food, idiot. <sighs> One. L. One to two, okay? So that's, that's all we have to say. How about, uh... Papa, Mama. Do you know how to say father or dad in Korean? It's appa, appa, appa. Yeah, double B or double P. Appa, okay. That's daddy, okay. Papa, p, papa. Double P. Okay. How about mother in Korean? Amma. Okay, there's double M. M here. M upstairs. M, M downstairs. M upstairs. Amma. Mommy. Mama. Mommy. Mama. Okay? Double M. Okay? This is not coincidence. Okay? You have some Asian language, Korean. Okay, you want to do Chinese? Sure. Yeah, it, it, it's hieroglyphic uh, Chinese. In, in um, Korean, we pronounce it as mo. Okay, how about father? I think it's pronounced as bu. In Chinese, do they, how do they pronounce it? Something similar to this. Maybe it's fu here, maybe it's mu, but it's very, very similar. Chinese pronunciation and Korean pronunciation, pronunciation of Chinese characters, they are very similar, okay? Because they, they came from China, okay? So yeah, you have M here in Chinese and B, B here in Chinese father Father, in English, father, yeah, F, number one, consonant, number one group, one group, first group, okay. B, P, yeah, it's all labial, lips, it's number one group, okay, so. M, yeah, it's number one group too. Okay, um, ma, mama, mo, yeah, the old M, like mammals. Yeah, it's hieroglyphic. It signifies uh, women's breasts. Okay. Yeah, Ma mother's breasts. You know, women's tits, nipples. Okay, so that's what this what these two dots stand for. Okay, hieroglyph, Chinese character for mother. Okay. So, um, yeah, mammals, memory gland. Yeah. Okay, it's all uh, milk even, okay? Yeah. But in terms of p and m, papa, mama, it's kind of like nasal sound. M, m, instead of this explosive consonant. Say tough love and soft love. Tough love and soft love. P, p, b. That's more tough love. P, 
explosively. B, 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 explosive, tough love. M, nasal. M, yeah, this kind of leeway. Yeah, you, your mother tend to forgive. You do something wrong, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. M, nasal, okay. Some air comes out of nose. Yeah, you can get away with that. I forgive you. I forgive you and forget, okay. Mama, mama, soft love. Papa, <coughs> you do something wrong, <coughs> I spit on you, okay? <laughs> Punishment. Tough love, okay? <laughs> Wait until your father gets here. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. <laughs> I we all had that experience as children, right? As a child. Oh yeah, wait until your father gets here. Oh my goodness, I'm scared to death. Okay. I think that's about enough. I, I, I'm kind of getting bored and jaded and fed up with all this lingot, linguistics, okay? So, so why don't you explore, okay? Investigate, go ahead, okay? But, but I had enough, okay? So, I had enough. So, so now what? What do we do now? I guess we, it's time to take a break. <laughs> you know, my voice is getting better, okay? It's very slow, gradual fashion, okay? Uh, takes a while. I, I don't even know how I injured my vocal cord. Maybe I sang too much. Or maybe there's some kind of virus kind of swelling inside and whatever. But I'm gradually, slowly recovering, okay, so. What do we do now? Maybe we may go back to pop mutation algebra, you know, go back to the desert land, desert land. We are kind of fed up with this land of milk and honey, okay? It's just too easy, too funny, too happy, okay? Maybe we go back to the desert, okay? Just for the sake of change, because it's kind of getting old. It's land of milk and honey, of linguistics, langua. You know, it's all sweet and nice, okay? rich in milk and honey, too sweet, maybe you want to experience some bitterness in the dry desert land. Okay, maybe that's what we want. <laughs> we'll take a break, okay, and I'm gonna make some jokes. And it's... You may not like my, my jokes, or maybe you will like it. But I'm going to make some jokes because we are in the middle of this episode, like one hour and 30 minutes. So most likely nobody will ever see this. So now I have freedom of speech because nobody's watching this. Probably nobody's going to ever watch this in the middle of one episode. Okay, so yeah, people typically they watch what five minutes in the beginning. Okay, so in the middle. Yeah, probably nobody will watch this. Okay, so I'm gonna make some jokes. Okay, so it will be something very uh, unpopular. Okay, I'm a boy at heart, so I'm a very mischievous boy, playful, troublemaking kind of boy. Okay, so yeah, I have to do this. Okay, so we're gonna take a break, right? Uh, I hope you like it, okay. for your own sake, okay, so. Woo!
lost a joke. Well, you can dub it like crime of the century. It's not a crime, it's not illegal. No, it's constitutional exercise of freedom of speech. That's what I'm gonna do. Is it a hate speech? Yeah, could be. <laughs> but in SCADA's Supreme Court of the United States, according to SCADA's, yeah, case law, constitutional law, constitutional case law, federal, okay, yeah, hate speech is protected by First Amendment, okay, so. It's not a hate speech. I'm not hating any people. I'm hating some ideologies. That's all. Okay, so. Okay. How many gay people, gay, celeb cel gay celebs are there? You have Anderson Cooper. You have what? Uh, what some famous gay guys? You have Anderson Cooper and. Yeah, what? The singer. Elton John and. George Michael. Okay. Yeah, gay guys, right? I'm gonna give them nicknames. Group nickname. Yeah. Gay devil. That's not very fun, right? Oh, okay, how about lesbians? Okay, you have what? Ellen DeGeneres. Gay lady. <laughs> gay lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Gay Gaga. Or Katy Perry. With satanic lesbian voice. Yeah, gay devil, lesbian satans, lesbian demons, lesbian monsters. Yeah, or well, Rachel Maddock or uh, Rosie O'Donnell, all these gay lesbian female celebs. Yeah, I call them gay devils, gay satans, lesbian satans, lesbian devils. Maybe it's not that funny a joke, okay, so. I'm sorry, okay? Not because I'm anti-gayist, but because I was not being very funny, okay? Lesbian satans, lesbian devils, lesbian de demons. I'm sorry if this is not a very funny joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever, okay? Whatever. I want to play with world games some more, okay, so you have what this Greek mythology Lesbo Island where there are only women in this island Lesbo Okay, is it too light? Okay, lesbian Lesbo Island in this Greek mythology L to S to B to two one, okay What are some other words in two to one? Well, we'll do some substitution, okay? A permutation operation. Substitutum. Substitutum, okay? L. Well, r. Some random second consonant. D. How about D? How about L? How about M? Delimit. How about trim? To rand No 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 that's not it Tribe a tribe trim tribe Yeah they all two to one okay Sure yeah let's play some games it's anagram child's play okay Delimit, okay, lesbians, they delimit themselves, okay. They trim their hair cut short. They trim their hair short. Tribe, this like lesbian tribe. It's like, is, it, is this one here? Maybe not, huh? Okay, I, I tried. 
I just want to have some fun because come on, it's Friday, okay? I'm gonna open this thing well while this eraser is still sticking on the board. It has this nice this is great invention, okay? This nice wet wipe, okay, so that it I can wipe out all this pen poops on the eraser itself and on the board. Oh, get so messy so easily. So it's great, nice invention, okay? Yeah, let's tidy it up. Okay, eraser two, side of the eraser, all around. Okay, we're gonna have some fun, okay? I'm bored, so why don't we do some sexual stuff? I'm just PG starting, PG starting, okay? Because uh, I'm bored, okay? I want something spicy, perhaps something guilty, like guilty pleasure kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, PG starting, okay? How about penis or vagina, okay? Penis, vagina, okay? So v one g I don't know it's a j vagina one to two p p p p n s okay so it's, it belongs to the same group one to two group one to two family okay all right it makes sense yeah how about Jenny Tall? Genitalia, genital, j, j, t, gen, t, yeah, genitalia or genital, yeah, bathroom, okay, genitorial service, genital or sanitary. Hygiene, you know, sanitary. Se ni sanitary. Is it a word? I think so. Hygiene. Give me one second. I'm just chatting with my friend. Just ch chatting with my friends. Okay, so sanitary. Yeah, sanitary. Senator. Okay. <laughs> Sanitarium, sanitary. Hygiene, okay, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, yeah, it's like very insulting, blasphemous. <sighs> Senator, okay. Oh, well, well it's, 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 Senator penis, I'm sorry. Senator vagina, I'm sorry. So fucking random, man. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Again, I'm bored. It's Friday night. I'm, I'm alone. Give me a break, okay? So, okay. Genitalia, sanitary, janitor, janitorial services, senator, okay? Okay, you have senator, okay? Senator. <laughs> senator, yeah, it's three, right? I mean, two. Senator, two. Senator, yeah, it's like 666. <laughs> or Jesus, or Zeus, Zeus, God, okay, Senator, okay. And you have Janitor, okay, Janitor. Yeah, J, J, N, T, yeah, T, T, T. And you have uh, Genitalia. 
genital, genital, you, you, you know, reproductive organs of ma males and females, okay? Yeah, genital, genital, genitalia, okay? Ah, sorry. So my hair fell out of oh, my eyelash, sorry. I don't just trash it on the floor, okay? I wrap it up in this toilet paper and I trash it in the trash can, okay? So I, t I try to be clean, okay? Organized, things in the rif rifle places. Okay. Yeah, there were two to two. So senator, janitor, genital, all two to two, okay? Are they related? Do they have the same word origin? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you can make some hypothetical, this conjectural guesswork or some playful. You can make intelligent guesses or playful guesses. Okay, there was once this janitor who would clean up all this urine and feces from this genitalias and later on he became a senator. Yeah, you can. I'm here to inspire you, okay? That's all it is. Yeah, you know, make science or make a novel. Okay? Novel, fiction, imagination. Or you can... This is more subjective, entertainment kind of stuff. Novels, movies. But at the same time, you can be a scientist, linguist, more objective, scientific. Soft love, you have pleasure. Tough love, hard work, science. Pleasure, novel, movie, f having fun, joke, soft love. Plus, minus, yeah, hard work. Labor, science, li linguistics, nerdy stuff, or groovy stuff, plus and minus, okay? Pain and pleasure. Okay, let's do pain and pleasure, shall we? Pain. Pleasure. P one, nu, lu, two. Okay. We can convert this, this uh, two system into three system by multiple by uh, repeating P or repeating L. Okay. It could be one one two or one two two. Okay. Because uh, we we want consistency of this three consonant system. Could be one one two or one two two. Okay. Yeah, pain, pang, p a n g, kind of mean the same thing. So, n n is alveolar, but it's also nasal. Uh, uh. NG, yeah, it's vela sound, but it's also nasal. Okay, so they're kind of interchangeable. N and NG. Okay, so L, R, L tend to be interchangeable with R because Korean trans transliteration, transliteration, also Japanese or Chinese transliteration of English words. They tend to equalize L and R, L and R, okay, because they are very similar, okay. So, give me one second. Chatting with my friends. Okay. Yeah, pain and pleasure, that opposite of opposite world. 
Okay. But guess what? We have blank. Blank. B one. L n blank. L n two k three. Also black. One two three. Okay. Well, blanco. Okay. So you have black, dark, black, and you have blanco in what? His Spanish or some Italian or whatever, which means white. Okay. So black and white, two opposite world. It has same word origin. Okay. So pleasure and pain, yes, yeah, same word origin. Same consonant groups. We just do this. Okay. Pang, pleasure. Okay, okay, pleasure. G, pain, whatever. Okay, we we'll do this one to two. Pleasure, pleasure. One to two. Okay, yeah. Pain and pleasure, two opposite things. Black and white, like blanco, blank, black, blanco, bianca, casa blanca, white house. Okay, it's not black house, it's white house. Casa blanca. Okay. Yeah. Black and white, pain and pleasure, it has same word origin. Okay. It's kind of this circular coordinate system. Okay. You have zero, right? And you go to infinity, okay? They meet. The opposite attracting each other, attracting each other, or something like that, okay? Okay, attract. How about that? True, rect, attract. We'll do that after a break, okay? Because, yeah, opposite, you know, two polar opposite. Okay. Let's take a picture of this and we take a break and we get back, okay? Okay. <sighs> we're, we're doing a lot. It's Friday evening. I'm still working. Yeah, I'm enjoying this enjoyable kind of work because I'm alone. I'm not. I don't have any constraint, any limit. Because I'm alone. Because if I'm with somebody else, yes. if I'm a teacher, worker, if I'm surrounded with other people, then I cannot drink at work. I cannot just say whatever I want, but because I'm alone in Alaska in this Friday evening, I can say whatever the hell I want. Okay? Or whatever the heaven I want. Okay, how about heaven and hell? Are they related? <laughs> Let's see. Heaven and hell. Are they related? I don't know. I'm gonna take another picture of this, okay? So, heaven and hell. How about ice and fire? Ice, water, fire. Man, I, I have to take a picture of this again. It will be the last picture I take before the break, okay? I promise. Okay, we'll take a break, okay? During the break, yeah, think about the connections, okay? What what tri group it belongs to, okay? Yeah, think about it. Connection, metaphysical connection, physical connection, okay? Well, right, we take a breath. Oh. 
Okay, we're back. All right. Okay, so, where are we? Uh, heaven and hell. What is this TRT? I, I don't remember. Attraction. Attract. It's just 222, two, two, right? <laughs> like 666. Six, 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 six. Attraction. Attract. Okay. Heaven. Okay. You have 3, V, 1, and 2. Hell, 3, L, L. Okay. Yeah, one and two, they're close enough, okay? So maybe they have seven, same world origin. Now let's do ice, water, and fire, okay? How about wind? This this group, I'm a huge fan, earth, wind, and fire or something. Yeah, African-American group. I'm not sure if they are from the eastern coast. I, I, that would be my guess. Earth, wind, and fire. They are not Motown. That's 
something I remember because I let's look them up. Okay, are they from New Jersey or something? Also in the Empire. You know. Do you remember September? This is rhyming. Okay, remember September. Okay, remember. Okay, remember one. B -b -b. Okay, yeah, we group this together is two and two, pair of, okay. September, how about that? September, September, two. One, two, m, one, b, one, r, two. Okay, so you have a two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Okay. Ligation, linking. Okay. Ligation symbol. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, whatever, man. But September, okay. Sept. It's came, it came from seven. Okay. Sept. In French or whatever, okay. It came from seven, okay. So seven. Seven. Okay, so. S v n two, one, two. September. Sept. Yeah, S E P T. I think it's French seven, okay. Yeah, same thing. Seven. Okay? Yeah. Seven set it all belongs to two one two. S V P T N Okay? Number seven, okay? Member. Maybe that's what it this is. September. Member. Member. Okay. M -b yeah, one one two. Okay. Yeah. Ember. Whatever. Whatever, okay, so <sighs> let me look look them up. Earth, Wind and Fire. Are they from New Jersey? Because from what or maybe Los Angeles, but from I vaguely remember they are from Eastern Coast. I know for sure they are not Motown, this Midwest, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, so Earth, Wind, and Fire. Where are they from? Let's go to Wikipedia. They're from Chicago, Illinois. Okay, I'm sorry. I, yeah, they're still Midwest, but they're not Motown. They're not from Detroit, Michigan. Okay, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm ignorant. Okay, uneducated, illiterate. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm ignorant. I'm stupid. <laughs> I dropped a pen. Workout session, bending the stretching. Oh, stretching session. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of flexible, so, but still. <sighs> Too much work. Okay, you have eyes. Zero to zero, okay. S okay. Water. Water. Whatever. Water. Double V, okay. W. Double V. Whatever. Water. W. T -t 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 -r. Fire. F 
v v b fire r r okay so water and fire they are very opposing counterthesis antithesis opposite water cool fire hot okay how about hot and cool cold hot hit okay three two cold Cool. L d t. Okay. Co k k k. Three. See. The two opposite words. Antithesis. Antithetical to each other. They tend to have the common origin. Belonging to same. Uh, three consonant groups. Okay. I mean, it can be 332 or 332, 332 or 322. It doesn't matter. They tend to belong to the same group. Okay, so that's brand new. Maybe not brand new discovery because um, this Blanco, white, and black, blank, black and white have having same origin. Up two opposites having same origin. I learned about it when I was in Seoul, South Korea. There was this guy, uh, he went to the best university, elitist university in South Korea, and he was a secretary of literature. Secre in South Korea, they have in the South Korean government, federal government, the highest, biggest government, they have this secretary of culture. In America, they don't quite have something like that, do they? Yeah, they have Secretary of Education, Department of Education, but sec they have something like, they had, in South Korea, they have sec the Department of Education and also they have Department of Culture, like Arts, Literature, Letters, and Science, blah, blah. They have this Department of Culture, okay? So that's something to think about. Okay, it's something that doesn't exist in America. I'm just giving you some ideas, okay? Okay. Has any linguist ever made this kind of connection, hot and cold, belonging to the same group, phoneme, permutation group? I doubt it, okay? Maybe they had. L, D is two, T, two, three, back of your mouth, okay, K, 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 yeah, back of your mouth, it, it belongs to the same phonetic group, okay, mathematics is about simplification, generalization, grouping, okay, yeah, you are, Observing, witnessing the power of mathematicalization or mathematicization or mathematicalization, mathematicization. Okay, simplification, grouping. Cheers to that. Okay. This one's running out, so I'm gonna switch out the drinks. We'll, we'll take a break very soon, okay? So. so, water, one to two. Fire, probably they have the same origin. Just like hot and cold have the same origin. Because they belong to the same phonetic group, phonetic permutation group. One to two, one to two, okay? Yeah. Okay? What is ice in um, Spanish? Jello. Yeah, jelly, jellyfish. Because, oh, jello, okay? Or oh, cielo, yellow, okay? 
in um Portuguese it's like jello, con jello with the eyes. Water with the eyes, what what is water? Uh agua con jello, something like that. Cold water, agua gelada, I guess. Jello. Jelly. Le tu guess what? It's ice. Tu ice jello j so ice tu jello like jelly solid solid yeah as opposed to liquid or air yeah air okay sure air zero zero two okay air guess what air two what vapor air okay gas But air, we have air and we have, uh, which is a single two, okay, zero, zero, two, okay. You have solid, jelly, jello, that means ice, solid, okay, two, two, and you have ice, two. So, how about liquid, water, water? well, that's different, okay, because then you you have two 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 and liquid liquid it's like two three two water one two two okay water okay you well you have one here it's not zero okay so i i guess liquid is something different but liquid is kind of in the middle between solid and gas liquid solid solid liquid and then gas okay so yeah it's one two three and the opposite the extreme two extreme polar opposite is solid and gas and guess what they are the same thing it's a circular coordinate system like Riemannian geometry okay now algebra Riemannian ge geometry is like circular spherical coordinate system opposite attract to it, attract each other kind of thing okay so yeah air ice jello solid okay okay solid is two 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 okay jello jelly jelly ice it's all two okay yeah even air so gas solid they meet each other polar opposites in the middle yeah they're liquid they're just different okay liquid is like two three two or water one two two okay isn't this interesting i like it okay we're gonna take a picture of this and we'll take a break We'll take a break. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. So there, there, before you go to a break, there's this secretary of culture in South Korea. He wrote many essays. Okay. He went to top school in South Korea and he wrote many essays and yeah he talked about this commonality of two opposites antithetical commonality okay he wrote an essay about that and we read and learned in south korean Seoulian um, 
middle school, high school, not just Seoul or South Korea University, standard textbook in Korean literature. Okay. He talked about Blanco, Black, Blank. Yeah, he, he did talk about that. Okay, so yeah. It, it's I we are inspired by the Korean professor and former secretary of culture. Okay, so yeah, he's smart. Okay. Okay, all right, so let's give him some due credit, okay? So smart guy, okay? So, yeah, he's smart. Elitist, nonetheless, but still he's smart. Okay, so we we'll take a break. Okay, so
Okay, we are back. How much time do we have? About half an hour, okay? About 30 minutes, okay. We make the best use of it, okay? We make the best of that. Yeah, we're gonna read it as well. Did I take a picture of this? I hope I did. <sighs> Let's go to. <sighs> yeah, I, I did take a picture of this, okay, so. Okay. Feel like thought, yeah, I gotta rerun this laundry, okay? What do we do now? Huh? Uh, we unlock the mystery of the universe, secret of the universe. We discover something new in linguistics, okay? <sighs> okay, let's say let's do black and white, okay? White. Wa white okay so that's one three two Ooh. how black B -l -k. yeah in linguistics okay like treasure and tessero okay yeah evolution of language yeah they they swap two adjacent consonants yeah they swap it happens all the time okay treasure that's all okay probably they're they're related okay so okay because they are two opposite things two opposite polar opposite okay they tend to be related okay how about good and evil We are so playful and mischievous, okay? Good and evil. Good. Evil. Well, evil. Evil. Good. G. Three. D. Two. Okay? Well, then three and one, they're kind of far away from each other, so I guess good and evil. They are not quite related, okay, so... Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Fuck all this shit, okay? <laughs> we are being lazy, okay? Whatever, man. Come on, it's Friday evening. What, what kind of loser am I? Huh? Spending my Friday evening by myself. Drink vodka and do this geeky cookie, cookie, geeky cookie, cookie stuff. Okay. Nerdy, what academic stuff? Forget. Okay. We have thirty minutes left. So, what do we do now? We can't just finish it up. Call it a day. Okay. Maybe I should because I'm still recovering from my vocal cord injury. Okay, so. Yeah, Highway to Hell by ACDC is one of my fi favorite songs of all time because I take a lot of risk by saying all this stuff. Okay, so 
Okay, let's go to highway to hell. Maybe tomorrow will be my hell day. Okay, pick on me day. But we're gonna do it anyway. Because we want to do the right thing. Okay. Yeah. Heaven and hell. How do how do they relate? Heaven, three, v, one, two, hell. Hell, three, two, two. Maybe they are not very related, okay? So heaven, hell. Yeah, one and two, yeah, it's kind of close to each other, maybe. Heaven, haven, okay, hell, I don't know, okay, maybe they are related or not, one, two, yeah, very proximate, close, yeah, whatever, horizontal transition, okay, whatever. What do we do now, man? I, I, I have no idea. The 30 minutes left. Should I call it a day? I think I should because my vocal cord rest. You need some rest. Okay, so. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow.